the nuclear arms race has led to a great demand in fissile material. The uranium rush turned countrysides all over the world into nuclear wastelands. Uranium mining in countries like Canada, Australia, the United States, India, Germany, or Kazakhstan have led to severe environmental destruction of once flourishing countrysides, to radioactive contamination, and to detrimental health effects. Due to high cancer rates, safety measures were implemented. Because of this and the falling price of uranium, mining companies shifted to less developed countries. Countries like Niger, Gabon, or Namibia. Here, safety measures were minimal and health effects tremendous. IPPNW affiliates all over the world have been researching the health effects of uranium mining. Like here, in the German Erzgebirge, where for many decades uranium was mined for the Soviet nuclear weapons program. Thanks to our knowledge about the effects of ionizing radiation on the human body, and our renowned physicians and scientists, IPPNW is able to reach both decision makers and the general public. My name is Dr. Michael Dworkin. I am on the board of Physicians for Global Survival, the Canadian affiliate of IPPNW. Canada is the second leading producer of uranium for the world. Quebec is currently having a, a referendum to look at uranium mining. IPPNW also travels to future uranium mining sites, like here in Tanzania, and organizes public information campaigns to empower local populations to stand up to the nuclear industry. What this industry likes to do is close down political space. It likes to talk about the dollars, not talk about the dangers, and only talk to the minister. What we need to do and what the community needs to do is always try and open the doors. Hey, what are you up to? What are you doing? What are you doing now? Who did you ask? What's your plan? How are we going to clean up? How much is it going to cost? What are we going to get? Have you thought about the water? All of those hundreds of questions need to be asked. In 2013, IPPNW organized a conference on uranium mining in Tanzania to equip local groups with the necessary knowledge and support and to show them that they are not alone. They must collaborate with the other structures fighting against uranium not only in Africa, but in all over the world. There's a much better strategy to base your arguments on um, uh, scientific evidence. The evidence is there. They were wondering if uranium mining is going to come to their place and they're also going to be told to vacate, to you know, to leave room for the mining companies that are coming to, to mine uranium, what is going to happen to them? Uranium mining leaves behind a deadly legacy of radioactive tailings and waste rock. The impacts will continue there for not just for hundreds of years, but even for millions of years. People are losing their livelihood, you know, because of just one group of people that are interested in extracting your raw materials. We are in the same boat and we are doing the same struggle. And we come here as doctors, as doctors and scientists. We now have tailing stands containing 600,000 tons of uranium. This tailing material is highly radioactive. We hope that IPPNW will be successful in keeping uranium in the ground. Help us make a difference. Help to prevent more uranium mining hibaksha. We are talking about our future, our generations, our children that are coming next. We are talking about lives here. Help us keep uranium where it belongs. Underground.